Hit the subscribe button if you don't want me to come at night. Scene script. Picture this. A typical evening as you settle down with your device ready to explore the digital world. But tonight, something feels off. Now imagine a Wi-Fi signal not unlike the one you're probably connected to right now but with a dark twist. This signal, unbeknownst to the unsuspecting user, is haunted. Sounds far-fetched? Let's dive into an eerie anecdote that might just make you think twice about which network you connect to. A user, we'll call him John, had just moved into a new apartment. He was settling in for the evening, device in hand, ready to lose himself in the vast digital expanse. As he scanned for Wi-Fi networks, one popped up, GhostNet. Intrigued and without a second thought, John connected. Almost immediately, his device began acting up. Apps opened and closed on their own, the screen flickered, and messages typed themselves out. Strange, inexplicable behaviors that sent a chill down John's spine. But it wasn't just his device. The entire apartment started to feel different. The temperature would fluctuate wildly, lights would dim and brighten of their own accord, and sometimes he'd hear whispers from an unseen source. Soon John began to see apparitions, ghostly figures that would appear and disappear in the blink of an eye. Everyday objects moved of their own volition. An uncanny sense of being watched, followed, haunted began to grip him. All this started when he connected to GhostNet, the haunted Wi-Fi signal. Now you might be thinking, why not just disconnect, but it wasn't that simple. John found that once connected, his device wouldn't let him switch networks or turn off Wi-Fi. He was trapped in this digital nightmare, his device a conduit for these spectral happenings. But the terror was just beginning. The Wi-Fi signal had opened a gateway to the other side. As more users connect to this haunted signal, the digital realm becomes a playground for spectral entities. What was once a sanctuary of information and connectivity has now turned into a haunting ground for these unseen forces. Users around the globe, unsuspecting, innocently log on to this Wi-Fi network, only to find themselves victims of its ghostly inhabitants. Let's dive into the chilling saga of a college student who, in her quest for free Wi-Fi, stumbles upon this haunted network. As she logs in, her laptop screen flickers, her documents scramble, and a chilling message appears. Welcome to the other side. Her device, now a puppet, manipulated by the spectral hands of the network's ghostly residents. Similarly, a software engineer working late into the night latches onto this network. Suddenly, his smart home devices spring to life. Lights flicker, doors slam, and a cold, disembodied voice echoes through his speakers. You're not alone. His digital haven, now a house of horrors controlled by the unseen. And then there's the teenager who, seeking a faster internet connection for his online games, connects to this network. He experiences the most terrifying game of his life as his avatar moves on its own, leading him through a virtual graveyard with tombstones bearing his name. His game, now a terrifying journey, directed by the spectral inhabitants of the haunted bandwidth. These are but a few examples of the countless testimonies from users who have experienced the bone-chilling effects of this ghostly network. Their devices, once symbols of control and convenience, now turned against them, manipulated by the spectral entities that lurk within the haunted bandwidth. The horror of this network isn't confined to its eerie messages or the manipulation of digital devices. It's the feeling of helplessness that it instills, the dread of knowing that even in the digital realm we are not alone, we are not safe. And as the horror spread, the network's spectral grasp only tightened. Opening. Our digital devices, once gateways to knowledge and entertainment, had become conduits for the supernatural. In the shadows of our understanding, a chilling hypothesis has begun to emerge. Could it be that our digital realm, a world of ones and zeros, is susceptible to hauntings? The idea may seem far-fetched at first, but let's delve deeper into the uncanny. Imagine spectral entities, those from the other side, capable of manipulating the binary code to their will. It's not the creaky doors or flickering lights of old, but a new form of haunting, more insidious and more pervasive. We're talking about ghostly apparitions in your emails, phantom whispers in your phone calls, and eerie shadows in your video chats. Just think about it for a moment. Our reliance on technology has created a new frontier for the supernatural. The devices we use every day, from our smartphones to our laptops, have become potential vessels for spectral interferences. Our Wi-Fi signals pulsating with data could be the ethereal ropes pulling us into the ghostly realm. These spectral entities could be lurking in the very fabric of our digital world, 
twisting and turning the binary code to their advantage. They could be using our own creations against us, turning our digital haven into a haunted nightmare. The ghostly Wi-Fi signal, the haunting bandwidth, it's not just a scary story to tell in the dark. It's a chilling reminder of our vulnerability in the digital age. We've opened up a world of endless possibilities, but in doing so, have we also opened a portal to the supernatural? The lines between our physical world and the digital realm have blurred, and perhaps, just perhaps, the supernatural has found a way to breach this boundary. Our digital devices, once our faithful companions, have become potential bridges between our world and the spectral realm. Closing. Our own inventions had betrayed us leading us into a realm of horror we were ill-equipped to handle. As the terror escalated, a group of tech-savvy individuals decided to fight back. This wasn't your typical group of heroes, they were a ragtag team of network engineers, software developers, digital wizards, and paranormal investigators. Their mission to combat the spectral infestation that had turned the digital realm into a playground of the supernatural. Armed with their technological prowess and a healthy dose of courage, they started their fight back in the heart of the spectral battlefield, the haunted Wi-Fi signal itself. They knew that the key to stopping the terror lay in the bandwidth, the very bridge between our world and the spectral realm. So they harnessed their collective knowledge to devise a radical solution, a cyber exorcism, if you will. Their plan was audacious. They would build a digital firewall, a barrier of complex algorithms and arcane symbols designed to filter out the spectral entities. It was a fusion of ancient mysticism and modern technology, a testament to human ingenuity in the face of supernatural adversity. The initial victories were thrilling. The spectral infestation began to recede. The firewall held strong and for a brief moment it seemed like they had turned the tide. The digital realm was regaining its normalcy. The ghostly entities were being pushed back and a faint glimmer of hope began to shine. But with each victory came new challenges. The spectral entities were not going down without a fight. They adapted, evolved, and found ways to bypass the firewall. The fightback team faced setbacks, their firewall was breached, and once again, the digital realm was plunged into chaos. Yet, our band of heroes didn't falter. They regrouped, re-strategized, and reinforced their defenses. They knew this was not a battle they could afford to lose. The stakes were too high, the potential consequences too dire. They understood that they were the last line of defense, the only hope against the spectral invasion. The battle was on, but could they truly close the spectral gateway? As we venture further into this chilling tale, remember that sometimes the scariest battles are not fought in the physical realm, but in the unseen corridors of the digital world. The struggle against the ghostly Wi-Fi signal continues to this day. Unseen entities lurk within the digital realm, a chilling testament to our era's technological advancements. Their spectral presence, once confined to the shadows, now haunts our Wi-Fi signals, corrupting the very airwaves that connect us to the world. Recent events have demonstrated an unnerving escalation in the spectral entity's power and cunning. In the quiet town of Harmony Springs, a local library's public Wi-Fi network became infected. Users reported their screens filled with ghostly images and eerie messages. Even when disconnected, the haunting images persisted, a chilling reminder of the spectral invasion. In another incident, a bustling city's entire digital infrastructure was disrupted. Traffic lights blinked out erratically and the city's communication systems were filled with static and otherworldly whispers. It was as if the spectral entities were flexing their ghostly muscles, demonstrating their ability to infiltrate and control our most trusted technologies. Efforts to combat this haunted Wi-Fi signal continue, with tech experts and paranormal investigators joining forces in an unprecedented alliance. They work tirelessly, developing firewalls and spectral deterrents, attempting to cleanse the infected networks. Yet each victory seems ephemeral as the entities adapt, finding new ways to breach our defenses and continue their digital haunting. These spectral entities have shown themselves to be not just a nuisance but a real threat. They exploit our reliance on technology, turning our devices against us and using them as conduits to our world. And as our lives become more digitally intertwined, the potential for chaos and fear grows. The digital realm remains haunted, 
and the ghostly Wi-Fi signal continues to lure unsuspecting victims. Will we ever regain control over our devices or are we doomed to live in fear of the next spectral upload? As we navigate this brave new world of spectral technology, one thing is clear. The ghostly Wi-Fi signal is an unresolved mystery, and our battle against these unseen entities is far from over. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want me to come at night.